Hey, you and YouTube, it's Will from Mobile Developments, my 450th weekly update. It's a lot of weeks I've been doing this now. And uh, this week was pretty good. A uh, pretty exhausting weekend uh, at the show over Saturday and Sunday for a lot of reasons. Um, two day shows, even when you're not competing, are very. Um, I don't even want to use the word stressful, but they, they tend to take a lot out of you. <clears throat> Especially, how do I put it? I'm generally myself, no matter where I am. But when I'm at a booth and I'm excited to see people and things like that, you know, you, you sort of turn yourself up to 11. And uh, I'm no different. I do the same thing. And being at 11 two days in a row, two long days in a row, it'll take it out of you. And then uh, there was some other stuff that happened, too, on Sunday. Uh, some personal stuff that I won't get into on here, um, because I've just never talked about it before. But, you know, at the end of the day, I've always said this whole weekly update thing was mostly for me, just so I had, like, almost a weekly video diary. And uh, I'm sure I will remember what happened the weekend of the World Strength Games, so... It is what it is, but it was a, uh, it was, it wasn't a bad weekend. Uh, it was actually kind of nice Sunday. I was able to ride the bike out there, save on some gas, have a good little trip out. Man, I got to remember to put the windshield on when, whenever I go on I-4. I-4, by the way, if you don't know, I-4 is a major, uh, highway in central Florida. It actually stretches sort of, they call it east and west and it does technically go east and west. But it's sort of like when you go west, it's sort of like northern. And when you go east, it's sort of southern. It's it's more like that than it is east and west directly. Um, you know, it doesn't like follow 95 north and south. But it's I've always found that weird. But it is consistently ranked one of the most dangerous highways. Um, but being that it's a highway, being on the bike without the windshield, normally I just do around town riding, so it's 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 actually awesome because the wind feels really good and cooling. Um, whenever you get above like 55, 60, it's just all of it slamming you in the face and the chest. It's it gets exhausting very quickly, but you know it's it's only about 20 to 30 minutes on I four, so it wasn't too terrible. But I gotta remember to just put the windshield. It's four bolts. Like I'm just being lazy. It's not even bolts. It's four nuts. No, it is bolts. Yeah, I just got to take the bolts out and put them back on. Like, yeah, I just, I got to remember to do that whenever I'm getting on a highway for more than, honestly, I used to say more than an hour now. I'm like, no, if it's going to be more than like 10 minutes on there, I need to just throw the windshield on because after a long day at a show, being cranked up to 11 and then packing up a booth, the last thing I wanted to do was get slammed in the chest with a bunch of air. And like have to hold tighter to the handlebars to, to get down the road. That's just just what I wanted to do is more physical exertion. But anyway, uh, training this week has gone really well, surprisingly well actually. Monday squats went good, <laughs> and I'm only laughing because my training partner and I screwed up. It was supposed to be um, cluster sets of fours, but doing one plus one plus one plus one. And we ended up just doing four singles. And it wasn't until the last set when we realized the mistake. And we were like, oh, no wonder it didn't feel too bad this week. But honestly, after the weekend, it was probably good that mistake happened. And it turned out pretty good uh, for everybody involved. And then uh, Tuesday's pressing went super well. Um, playing around with 80 and 85%-ish. Uh, out of the rack and from the floor on log. Going a lot better. Really been trying to dial in the log. Um, I don't think the journey with either implement will ever be over, per se, or mastered, per se. But I'm happy with my general proficiency on the axle when it comes to the clean and the press portion. And so I'm trying to work that same thing with the log, trying to get um, the better body, body positioning for me, especially on the clean, um, which has usually been pretty good for me. Um, but it's just working with the axle so long, I don't want to say I forgot it, but I've sort of realized different ways of, say, sitting in the bottom before the clean and things like that work better for me now. And so I've been trying to adapt those new things to make the clean feel easy. 
Uh, the pressing this week, just in terms of the actual pressing, it felt really good and really strong. Um, oh, wait, Tuesday. That was strict pressing, wasn't it? Yeah, strict pressing went terribly, actually, now that I think about it. Yeah, that was just awful. Yeah. Um, supposed to be using a certain percentage, but I couldn't even remember what percentage I was. I haven't done strict pressing in so long. And it's just one of those things, because I got so focused on push pressing, that I just neglected it, and I am paying. I remember, I, at one point in my life, I was, like, strict pressing in the 180s, which was only, like, four to seven, four to ten pounds less than my push press. Now my push press is much higher, and my strict press has suffered immensely because of it. I mean, we're talking, like, 150s to 160s are tough, which is just it's not good. Um, I'm hoping after a few weeks of working it again, that'll change, and I'm definitely going to make sure to keep that in the rotation uh, much more consistently this next go-around. Yeah, that was Tuesdays. I was talking about tonight. Tonight's pressing went really well. Uh, Thursday's deadlifts was, thank God, a deload, because my Wednesday was spent fixing my truck and doing all this stuff. Just regular life things I had to neglect over the weekend. But it's one of those things where it's like when you work, run your own business, you don't even have weekends per se. Like this weekend, I'm going out to a show. There goes my whole Saturday. And then Sunday, somebody's coming over and we're going to be pouring concrete into their keg. Um, because they live close by and it's much easier if you have a mixer and all that stuff. Which I have all the equipment and they don't. So it's one of those like, hey, just come over, we'll just do it together. You know, that kind of thing. Buy me lunch. We'll call it even. They're very good, uh, good friend and a good, good client of mine. So I'm not gonna be the guy who's like, all right, you know, you want to rent the mixer? It's you know, fifty dollars. I'm not. I'm not gonna be that guy about it. It's you know, I don't. I've never and hope I am never one of those guys that you know, makes a fuss over a few bucks. Money's just money. It comes and goes. In fact, right now it's, it's a little bit going, more so than it's coming right now. But I had a couple weeks there where it was all coming. So. Ebbs and flows. I don't worry about money. I've learned over the years never to stress about that. Um, it's just money. It comes and goes. I've been rich. I've been poor. I've been richer than I am right now, and I've been poorer than I am right now. And there's just all there is to it. That's not... Stuff comes and goes. And I know if I really, really needed it, I would figure it out. And I don't really, really need it. It's just three things came up all at once right now. And I'm just like, ah. Oh. <laughs> Um, plus I've been spending a lot of money on the business, investing in a few things, like a new pop-up, not, not a pop-up, a couple of roll-up banners, one for the table, one for the actual booth. That way I can advertise that I have the stone dumbbells there for an actual, um, it's not even competition, just a little fun thing. I bring the three stone dumbbells and you lift each one, you get a different prize for each one, that kind of thing. And I just want to make sure that by the time OSG rolls around, I have all of that sorted out and I look professional adjacent, at least a lot more professional than I have in the past uh, with the booth. Um, <laughs> my thought process is if I make the booth nicer to be around, maybe I'll actually stand around it. I doubt it because I'm terrible at booths, but it might just work out. So a lot of rambling this week. It's because I'm tired and I have to get up early tomorrow. And I'm doing anything to avoid going to bed. Because the second I lie down, <laughs> I'm going to time travel and wake up in the morning and have to drive. And I'm just not looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to hanging out with everybody tomorrow. I just, I'm not looking forward to the drive. So, it is what it is. We'll get there. Everything will be good. So yeah, this week's training was pretty good. All things considered. And, yeah. Don't neglect your strict press. If you do, then what's your excuse?